today it's Sunday in China and we haven't done anything for the past few weekends there's kind of been like a lot of hiccups and also just kind of nice to like take a rest every now and then Lazy. yeah but today we are going to Lashan which has the Lashan Buddha which is the largest stone carved Buddha in the entire world so that's our plan today we are currently on the bullet train or the high-speed Metro and it takes about an hour, it was like an hour and 15 or an hour and 15 minutes. One of them. Yeah, one of them. Other way it's long. And then we have to take a bus and then we climb a ton of stairs to see the Buddha. But I'm very excited. trying to find the bus that went to here. Yeah. It's kind of embarrassing. You walk in a circle, call the Didi, cancel the Didi. Finally found a bus station, finally got on the bus. Finally the man tried to get us to go in his car, I think. Yeah. Didn't do that. Not about that. No, no, no. So we took a bus and we are now here and we just have to climb all the way up to the actual building. Okay, it's me and the Buddha. You can barely see him, but he's right there. A lot of people. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so we're probably not gonna climb all the way down these stairs. It's super crowded and the line goes for a while. But there's a pretty good viewing spot up here, so it's really cool seeing how big he is. He's a child touching my crush. That's child. <laughs> I did a little bit of research before coming here. I know that it took 90 years to build. I think it started sometime around 613 AD. So three rivers come together right here. I forget what their names are, so I'll insert it later. But three rivers come together and there used to be turbulent waters. The monk was thinking that if they build a statue of Buddha, it'll somehow bless the waters to make sure that the water wasn't as strong and there weren't as many deaths and it was a lot of more smooth sailing. So they built this Buddha. I forget how tall he is. Again, I'll put that in there once I learn a little bit more, but it took 90 years to build. And there's a sewage system, like a, a sewage water system inside of the Buddha to help drain some of the water. But he is quite big. And it's really just kind of amazing to see something like this big, this up close. It, it kind of blows your mind to think that this thing has been here since 613 AD, so it's been here literally for thousands of years, and it's just, it's, it's really amazing to see. We miss you, Miranda! Oh! Oh, Miranda! You're here with us in spirit, my love. Hello! What's your name? My name's Lindsay. It's nice to meet you. You're very beautiful. Bye, sister!
finishing up our day here at Lashan and we're gonna try and find a boat so we can see the giant Buddha from far away because we didn't end up walking down the stairs. Because it was gonna be like a three hour wait. Yeah, and we just, we're not about that. I really do wanna see it in its full entirety though because just being able to see it like up close by the head was just phenomenal. The last thing we saw inside was this beautiful Buddhist temple and there were just gold statues and flowers and candles burning and it was truly just a like a breathtaking moment to see people worshiping different deities and statues and it was it was just kind of a moment that we both stood there and kind of just observed because it was just so beautiful it it was just unlike anything that i've just felt before and these statues are huge and they're just i don't know what else to say i feel like, <laughs> like i just feel kind of speechless i don't know what to say about it because it was it, it truly was just very very beautiful it was something you just had to be able to take in and appreciate and i i genuinely yeah. i was looking at uh one of the largest buddhas they had in there and i was tearing up yeah. it was beautiful and there are all these intricate paintings on yeah. the walls and the ceiling and dragons everywhere yeah. and um, monks beautiful. like actual yeah. monks who worship here at this monastery. Yeah. i don't know if they Live. I assume yeah. they don't live here. I'm not sure. Monastery, think yeah, simple, but but it, it it truly was just beautiful to see people coming here and taking in that moment and and worshiping. It was just it was something that was truly a moment for me to kind of sit there and it took me back and it was just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Also, I saw a bee. <laughs> it was a really big bumblebee. It was oh, cute. beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna try and maybe find a boat. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but if not, I guess we'll be going home. Yeah, I don't know. But that'll also be an adventure. Yeah. Because when we tried to buy train tickets this morning, there were no spots on the trains to come back to Chengdu. Yeah. So we gotta try and find the bus. Yeah. That'll be. We'll see how it goes. Fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. We're strong, yeah. independent women uh, who don't need no train. True. Okay. Especially since we end up standing on the train. Yeah. We, here. we bought we bought two tickets and we told them we were going to Lashan, which is about an hour. It's like an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half train ride to Lashan. And first we sat down in two seats and then this guy came up and said, Hey, you're in my seat, so we went to move. And then we're like, Okay, like can you help us find our seat? And he didn't. Mm -hmm. And then we sat down on another seat and we sat there for a little bit and we were totally fine. And then another woman ended up coming up and saying, hey, this is my, my seat. seat. And then we're like, oh, okay. Um, can you help us find our seat? And she didn't do that either. So we ended up standing for a little bit until, uh, we until found one of the employees, yeah. and it was really funny because we found this guy, and Lindsay showed him her phone yeah. with the translation, like, "Hey, do you know where we sit?" Yeah. And he kind of chuckled and turned around <laughs> laughing, and we off. I heard him yelling at something, not like angry yelling, yeah. just like calling for someone, like, "Hey, why go?" Which is like, "Why go rent is foreigner." Yeah. So I was like, "Ha ha, that's yes. us. We're foreigners. <laughs> we're lost. We're stupid. We can't read Chinese on our tickets." And it turns yeah. out we had tickets for standing room. Yeah, and there's not a lot of standing room. Like it's it's the high speed train, so. Usually you're going pretty far for a while. Yeah, and it's not like there were handles like yeah. on the metro, so. No, so we kind of just stood there. Yeah. Awkwardly. It wasn't too bad. But it was surprising. Yeah. <laughs> this woman came up to us and she said, you don't have a seat. And we're like, oh, oh fair. Okay, yeah, cool. Fair. <laughs> so we're gonna try and figure out how to get back. But it shouldn't be a problem, you know? We got this. Yeah, okay, let's try and find that uh, boat. Well, update. Found a boat. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking ever so stylish. Oh yeah, double cameras, yeah. life jackets, backpacks. Looking real good. Oh.